Lewis, we're here at Dunakir Golf Club. The place is absolutely buzzing. I see so many of your current former teammates, lots of well-kent faces and uh, some great supporters of the club. Yep. Why are we here? Uh, it's the first event of my testimonial year. Yeah, I'm here for my testimonial golf day. Um, it's been a long time coming, a bit stressful, but um, I'm just appreciative of all the support and uh, for the fans, ex-players, current players, managers, ex-managers, um, everybody that's involved in the day. What are you looking forward to most? Is it the patter, the humour, or is it actually a game of golf? Uh, I can't wait to start playing golf, to be fair, because I've been nervous and there waiting to go. So, yeah, in fact, for the morning's done, and we can go out and enjoy some golf. Who are the real bandits in amongst the squad today? I know that you've got one or two in the current squad, but there's a few former players uh, here that I've heard are decent. There's a few ex-former players that are decent. Dougie Hill, but a bandit. Daryl was in that. Um, Jamie Gillen plays off scratch as well, so... Um, and there's a few not so great Scott, Scott McGill's first golf out and so that should be interesting Tell me about some of the people behind the scenes um, there's yeah. a lot of folks that um, I, I know are putting a huge amount of work on Aye. your behalf Aye um, a massive thank you to the committee who have organised this for the past months um, especially Greg Peden has been above and beyond me for, for a long time um, trying to organise this golf, the golf day and people are probably sick to death I'm texting and phoning but um, no, it's a credit to him and it's went so smoothly this morning, so um, I'm appreciative for everything that he's done. And first of a number of events, we're going to be chatting across the months and uh, there's a calendar of uh, things that just when you're ready, you're going to come to Wraith TV and we'll get that news out. Yep, um, hopefully there'll be an announcement in, in due course um, with the rest of the events for the rest of the year. Um, as I say, this is the first event, so um, hopefully we'll have a, an announcement soon regarding the game and the dinner stuff and that'll probably be later on in the year. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to getting more stuff organised throughout the year and, yeah, a massive thank you to also to Perth MG for sponsoring the golf day today. Yeah, um, you can see the cars at the brilliant and at the clubhouse in the first tee they're looking brilliant. So, um, yeah, it should be a good day. So we've got Lewis, Lewis Vaughan's testimonial golf day today. Um, so it's a, a great chance for all the kind of players, former players, fans to all meet and come together in the aid of a great guy, basically. So that's. We're, we're, we're having a golf day to try and raise money for Louis first and foremost as part of his testimonial season. Tell me about um, the decision to help out because these things take a huge amount yeah. of time, a huge volume of effort. Yeah. But the thing that was underneath it when we were texting each other back and forward yeah. and we see each other around the club yeah. was, it's for Louis. What does the lad mean to you? Um, he's a great footballer but probably an even better guy, which is uh, really, really important. So for me, like I said, it was a no-brainer. It combines my two hobbies, which is golf and Wraith Rovers. So... To, to do this for Louis was a no-brainer, like I say, the minute he asked me, I wanted to do him justice and, and do things right, and hopefully we'll do that today. The level of uh, kind of excitement as we came into yep. the car park today was uh, tangible, you could feel it. Yep. Um, a lot of uh, former players, yep. current players, yep. uh, the, the banter back and forward. Yep. We know that Scottish football is a, they say it's a kind of village, it's quite a kind yep. of small, tight network. Yep. Um, what is it, what does it feel like to get involved in that, and actually how difficult has it been to pull together? Um, to be honest, for, from the players' point of view, everyone wants to help Louis, to be honest with you. Nobody's, I don't think anyone said no. Everyone said, yeah, listen, I'll be there. Travelling from all over the country to be here for quarter past eight this morning on a Sunday morning, maybe after training yesterday or playing a game. So it just shows how much to be my means to them, to be honest. Hole one. Get in the hole! John, a golf day and a golf day in aid of uh, one of your favourite people. Tell us why you're here. Well, Louis Vaughan's... Uh what we all want to see in, in a footballer at our football club. A really nice guy, a guy that gives his heart and soul. I think we all sing the song, he's one of our own, and he certainly is. You're, you're a kind of man of many hats round about the, 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 the club, and one of them that you're wearing now is um, you're part of the testimonial committee. Louis Town is that today is the, the first of a calendar event. How's that planning coming together? Ultimately, it'll... it'll um, build up to the actual game of football but how are the other things coming together for fans who want to get involved? Yeah I think um, there'll be an announcement quite soon about a dinner that's going to be to to honour Louis and uh, everything that's happening uh, for Louis is well deserved uh, as I say you know he's a man of the people he's one of us and he deserves it. How does it feel as you get ready to head to the, the tee? Uh, I must admit, a wee bit nervous, uh, but it's all about Louis today. It's a, a big day for us. Uh, I'd like to thank Lyle and the guys at Perth MG for supporting it and really getting behind it. They've been brilliant with the community club as well. Uh, but this is about Louis today, a very, very special player, uh, somebody that means an awful lot to anybody of Wraith Rovers' connection. Uh, 
I wouldn't really say our team's probably up there the strongest of them, um, but we'll certainly give it a good go uh, and hopefully we can turn it on for the, for the wee manny. Dylan, a golf day. How good a golfer are you? Uh, not very good. Um, I play quite regularly, to be honest. I, I'm trying to get good at it. I've been starting to play the last couple of years, so as long as I'm not hacking it in the trees, I think the, the Texas scramble gives me a bit of an advantage, so no, I'm looking forward to it. And of course we're here for Lewis Vaughan. Yep. John Greer's just rightly described him as one of our own. What's it like to play with and be around? Yeah, he's special. Um, I've always known it, obviously, playing against him in the past and known how, how good he is. I mean, the first time i seen him properly play was when I was at Forfa. I think he came back for one of these, obviously, serious injuries. He first came back, he came home within 10 minutes. I think he may have got a hat-trick or two. And I just thought this guy's really special. And then, obviously, being in training and, and seeing the things he does in training, it's, yeah, he's top, he's top class. A testimonial in modern football is a rarity anyway. Yeah. But uh, for a lad that's been through so much and, and stuck with us as much as we've stuck with him, uh, what do you think it means? Yeah, it's a credit to himself, obviously. Mentally, I've obviously been through the same the same injury. I've done it once. and. You know, it's, it's probably the hardest thing to ever come back for you. Touch wood. If I ever went through it again, I'd, I don't know if I'd be able to cope. So, you know, as I say, credit to Louis to come back that many times and, and keep performing the way he is. I think, you know, as I say, in training and even in games now, he's starting to get up to speed. He's had a good pre-season. So hopefully, you know, we can, we can see the best of Louis again this year. And a whole uh, calendar of testimonial events. It's not only the player that it's for, but the whole squad got a bit of a lift from that, all these outings, don't they? Yeah, of course. It's um, it's exciting, you know, seeing all familiar faces from from before and boys that you know played at Rafe, and it's good getting together. And you know, hopefully, we can make it a special day for Lou. And a day out with the fans as well. It's always uh, something that you look forward to. Yeah, of course. You know, the, the backers every week, as you say, they come in their numbers. So it's good to give ourselves a little bit back to them, and you know, get that little sort of bond together and. Hopefully we can go around and, and put on a good show. On the, on the... I spoke to one or two who says they'll back you on a Saturday, but they're going to turn you over today. How's that feel? <laughs> well, if I'm if I'm playing well, I fancy myself. But nah, as long as we've got, uh, I think we've got a few good players on our team, so hopefully they can they can carry me around.